Cobello Asset. It is Gary and Beans O'Clock. Gary and Beans is popularly known in Ghana as Gobe. An absolutely delicious but so inexpensive meal. And so today I'm taking you onto the streets of Ghana from my kitchen. I know you are going to enjoy this. Come along and let's do some cooking. I'm going to start off by soaking my beans, black eyed peas. It's your beans of choice. I've poured that into a bowl. I'm adding some water. You want to absolutely cover your beans with the water because once it swells, it is going to absorb all that water. So you need lots of water for that purpose. I'm going to set it down for a few hours, about two hours, and I did my chores. Here is my beans now filling my bowl. I'm going to give it a thorough wash before we cook it. Now that my beans is thoroughly washed, I'm going to transfer it into my pot, add some water to it to cover, and then I'm going to bring this to a boil. Beans has a tendency of getting foamy when it boils. You don't want to cause a mess. So once it boils and you observe that, you want to open your lid a little bit to let it vent just like this. Now I'm going to get ready with the ingredients that are going to go into my beans. So I'm going to cut up half of an onion. I'm actually going to dice it and this is going to be cooked in my beans for some flavor. My beans has been boiling for about 35 minutes. It has softened but I want it to be a little softer. And for your absolutely delicious gobe, you want to put some more money, which is fermented fish, into your beans to cook in here so the beans takes up the flavor and aroma of it i've put here my momone this is not even from ghana it is from Cote d'Ivoire, given to me by my friend oh my god it is powerful i've also added in my diced onion which i'm stirring in right now and for added flavor i'm also going to be using some shrimp powder this has not been grounded to be super super fine it has big chunks of it in there so it is perfect in here i'm also going to add a little bit of herring powder as well and that is also chunky i also have to say if you want to make this vegan then don't put in any of these just cook your beans it's going to be absolutely delicious as well i've added some salt a little bit of maggi to that to give it an extra flavor i'm just going to stir this and allow this to cook down let the onion soften and all these flavors come together you don't want to make any regular beans okay you don't want the beans for your gobe to be regular it has to have flavor it has to have layers it has to just come out right so that you know you are really competing with the street vendor I'm going to let this cook a little bit. I think it needs a little bit of water. So I've added just a little bit of water because I want my onions and all these ingredients I put there to have a little bit of moisture to cook through. Now I'm going to let it sit for a while. And whilst that is cooking, I'm going to get ready the palm oil, the spicy part of the gobe. So I have some ginger, onion, peppers, and just half of a tomato. That is actually all I could find in my fridge, but it is really not necessary in here. So it is good. It is blended. Now my beans is cooked. It has some moisture. It is not all the way mushy. I have whole pieces of beans in here. A few of it mushy in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Look at the texture and consistency. Can you smell the aroma? Yeah. From what she was My beans is perfectly cooked now. I'm just going to cover that, set it aside so we can focus on the spicy palm oil that we have to make for that delicious gobe. And like no joke at all, I have my oil in my fritol gallon. So you can only imagine what kind of oil it is straight from Ghana. Okay, absolutely delicious palm oil. I have to say I'm a palm oil snob. So yeah, 
it is hard for me to eat gobe on the street for that reason it has to be a certain kind of palm oil anyway i've added my onions in there i'm going to let the onions fry not all the way caramelized mind you because my palm oil is very delicious already okay this is in quango it's palm oil that comes from soup if yours is not good i would recommend that you let your onions almost caramelize so that the flavor will be intensified i've added one more of my momone from Côte d'Ivoire. Hey, Côte d'Ivoire for her. C'est très, très délicieux. C'est très bon. C'est très, très, très bon. <laughs> that more money is good oh anyway i'm adding the blended ingredients in here so that's my pepper onion ginger and that half of a tomato in here i'm going to let this cook all the way until it fries and it has almost no moisture it's almost like you are making shito only you are using palm oil to do that and you know one reason i love homemade is that you get to put the very best the finest of ingredients into your food okay so i'm just going to add some more shrimp and herring powder in here something that most sellers will not afford to put that in there because we need to make profits so anyway i've added that and some salt to taste i'm going to stir that all in here and as you can see it is already beginning to get fried up in here i just want it to cook for a little bit longer at this point at this point i'm sorry to say but of course you will need to open the windows <laughs> after this you need to just burn some candles or make a potpourri because sentinel sentinel ajibebia i'm telling you <laughs> at this point the kids are like mommy what is cooking mommy what is cooking i'm like move on so free me so you just don't know what tastes delicious okay so anyway, I've let this fry all the way. And just like I explained to you, at this point, it is looking like shit. And it is perfectly ready. Now I'm going to go ahead and fry my plantains. So I have my oil on fire now warming up. And I'm going to go ahead, peel my plantains. These are ripe. Not as ripe as I would want. I would want it a little bit riper. So it is extra sweet. But this will do. It is perfectly ripe. I just want it sweeter. And um day ya. You be anything. You be anything. Tasty. Well, obviously, gobe is a very popular street food. But I can count how many times in my lifetime I've eaten it on the streets. Because like I said, <laughs> I don't think that palm oil is good enough for me. So anyway, I cut my plantain to be as huge, the perfect size as the sellers will make it. And now I've added some salt, little bit of water. You want it to soak up a little bit of that salt so you, your plantain is not just plain sweet, but it has a little bit of saltiness to it. Oil is perfectly hot. I'm going to go ahead and fry. And you give it to me. Well, I don't know about you send me a santini. I'm going to go ahead and fry, fry my plantain. You want to fry your plantains to be golden just like this and at this point it is actually ready for you to bring it out of the oil and it is safe to say it is almost time to sit and enjoy some absolutely delicious gobe Well, dearest friends and family, it is time to get godalized, okay? This gobe has to be eaten for me to become a godali, okay? Okay? And we're not even playing. We even have leaves. We have all the works. We took five cities. 50 pesos. And this whole time, I kept telling my mom, it is my show today. I don't need you. I don't need you. And when it was time for this part, 
I just really needed her, okay? Because she is the pro at wrapping the food. And so we have scooped our beans in here, added some gari, which is uh, made from cassava. So it's actually toasted cassava or fried, so it's become powder. Now we're going to go generous on our spicy palm oil, our momone infused palm oil. And now we're going to stir that in. You want to have as much in there for the flavor and the heat. Well, trust mama to come in with the props, the jokes, the everything. She makes it all the way worth it. Just look at that. Our gobe is perfectly wrapped. And at this time, I am going to become a gobeli. I'm about to get gobelized. And if you were wondering where the avocado is, of course, it's not going to be gobe without some penku. So just look at that perfect avocado on there this is just the perfect combination an absolutely delicious meal perfect nutrition and huge huge on flavor now let's dig in well i don't know why i was using the spoon so i changed it i think my brain was just too much on the content i need a fork i need to be able to just dig into my avocado like this with ease just look at that and for the perfect bites you want to have pieces of everything so i have my plantain my gary and beans my avocado that is a perfect bite well i hope this has made you want to eat this so go ahead and make it thanks so much for watching kindly like this video and share and until i come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy